Okay, let's come back to our, our painting we did of Farewell to Lorien and add a few more details we didn't get time to do the other day. And that is, our fellowship is leaving in kayaks that were provided to them by the elves. So I'm just putting in a little silhouette of those kayaks as they paddle downstream, our travelers. So they are going to go off. I'm just going to put them right here. I'll come back. This is the lead kayak. Okay. And they are paddling away. These are small details, but and just put a reflection in the water under them. And we'll come back. Let's see. Oops. Now I'm just going to take a dry fan brush. Just a small one. And I'm going to soften that shadow out. In the water. Maybe there's a little disturbance in the water behind them. There we go. And we'll put some. There we are. There's one. Now, of course, we have three. Three small boats here. So we'll have another right here. This is our fellowship. As they head out for more faithful adventure. And make sure we darken this up a bit. And of course, my Grand Gaffer Gamgee and Grandpappy Took were in these boats as they paddled down. There we go. There, a little shadow in the water. Come back to our fan brush. And we'll just soften that out. Now, things in nature, I'm a little more practiced at painting, so some of these things may not be up to my wheelhouse of skills, but they may be yours, so you could probably do a much better job at this part than I. There we go. And this one's a little closer, so it'll look a little larger.
And as I said, we're just, we just have the silhouettes of our travelers as they head out. And you've got the paddle there. There we go. And I believe maybe this is Aragorn. Now this is a very important part of the story for Aragorn because this is where Gladriel tells him to take his name Elisar. And of course, you know, he becomes King Elisar, the Elfstone. There we go. And at this point in the story, they didn't have to do much paddling. The current just took them down the river. There we are. There's our travelers and their three canoes as they head out. Now let's, let's put that last little peninsula Right here where the Lady Galadriel watches our travelers go, bids them farewell. And in the story it says this was the last patch of green grass. So, but we're just putting this darker color underneath. And that way we can come back in and highlight the grass on top of it. So, oh, clean off that brush. And we'll go into our sap green. Oh, look at that. We had some sap green there, and we didn't even use it that much today. Darken that up a bit. And we'll just come in here just using our one inch brush. our yellow. Just lighten this grass. Just lighten this grassy area up a bit. There we are. Just give somewhere for the lady to stand. Okay, now what we'll do is we'll go to the Lady Galadriel. Now, we are going to put her figure right here, and you'll have to forgive me. I'm not the best artist when it comes to painting people and things. Oh, 
But what I do, I'm just giving us a shape here. for us to work right on top of. And I know it looks like a tree at this point. And the elves are very much like the trees. But that just gives us something to build upon. Okay. So. Let's, let's put our lady in. And these are the folds of her robe. If you start picking up too much color, just wipe it off. Okay. And what I'm doing is I'm just trying to build upon it. Build upon the shape with some of that titanium white. Of course, she is brilliantly shining. But if we just had a white blob there, there wouldn't be much to see. So we're just putting her robe in. And that's the problem. We come down and we pick up some paint. You just have to be very light at this point. Now that we've got our base down, we come and we don't put a lot of pressure on it. We just, we don't want to pick up the paint at this point. We just want to bring it down. There we go. Just 
come back to it and get more as you need. There we are. Now I'll even pick up some of that magic white, that liquid white. And we'll put it on there. That will really make her shimmer some more. There we go. Now, of course, the lady's hair was golden. Beautiful, as Gimli would attest to. He asked for just a strand of her hair as a gift. Oh, truly surprised her. Now, I don't think I'm doing the lady very much justice on her hair here. I'm sure she had it shaped and braided and beautiful. I'm just trying to give you the idea of where she stood and how beautifully poised she was watching her visitors as they left. Coming back, picking up more paint and just bringing it down. Knocking off any paint that I picked up along the way and putting it down again. There we are. Now, one last thing. We'll give the lady a belt. Well, well. Getting the color to stick is another story. Thin out that paint. Our paint is very thin in this spot by now. There we are. Just the appearance of a belt upon her back. And as you look at it, you may see some things that you want to fix. There we go. And there we have our lady watching the travelers as they head off. Of course, she knew there was much more peril ahead of them. She had foreseen it. But as she said, the ability to tell what was going to happen was diminished at this point in the story. So we'll just come here and just, just maybe you can give some details. There we go. 
And these guys were wearing cloaks and things of that nature. So you can give all the detail you want. And you could spend all day doing it if you wanted. Maybe give some indication of who it was in the boat. There we are. That's just a little bonus to make it a little bit more engaged with the story. I hope you all have enjoyed this, this little time of putting some extra details in the painting. We'll be back with another full-on painting come this Friday. Thank you, goodbye, and God bless. Thank you for joining me on today's painting. I'm so happy you were with me. Now, if you'd like to continue to go on painting adventures with me, become part of my fellowship. And you do that by clicking that subscribe button below. Yes, and be sure to give it a like and a share. That would be oh so helpful. Now, we don't know how many of these seeing stones are unaccounted for. So we don't know who else is watching. I've got to go. Have a good day.